Hi, this is Jason with Concourse Hosting, and today we'll discuss how to use custom views. If you notice you're making the same changes to a view every time you open it, you might want to consider saving the changes as a custom view. Here we are in my sample site in Tableau Server. Let's start with a quick terminology review. A workbook is a collection of views. A view is a crosstab map, bar chart, dashboard, etc. that you create in a workbook. When publishing to Tableau Server, you can elect to display one or more of the views in a workbook. Right here we're looking at two views in the workbook. You can't quite tell, but over here on the right and on the top of this dashboard is a little different than the actual bar chart itself. But they're both views. Let's look at our example more closely in the dashboard view. You might want to add or adjust a filter to include only data relevant to you, or you might want to sort a view differently than how it was published. You also might want to keep different versions of the same view, for example, one with a date range filter selected and another with a different date range selected. Each of these different configurations can be saved as a custom view. Let's do just that. I'm going to change the date filter to reflect my organization's fiscal year. As you can see right here, by default, it's set as an annual. Here you can see I changed the dates to July 1st, 2016 through June 30th, 2017. And you can see that the figures or totals have changed here to reflect only revenue or donations year to date. Now we'll save this as a custom view. Click on Original View in the upper right. Notice right here that there's now an asterisk by the name. This tells me that the view I'm looking at is different than the original view. Start by naming the view. We'll call this 2016 through 2017. Here I can choose to make this my default view. So when I go to this workbook, this view is what I see by default. The original view will still be available in this menu. I can also choose to make this view public, and therefore available to others through this drop-down menu. This won't change another user's default view. They would have to go to this menu and change this view to make this their default. Go ahead and click Save. And now we see my custom view. Clicking on the view menu again, you can see my view has been made default. And you can see the original view is still available. Now I'm going to create another view for last fiscal year. Here you can see I've changed the gift date range to 2015 and 2016. And again, my totals have been adjusted to reflect last fiscal year. Now we'll save, but we won't change this workbook, or excuse me, view, to default. So we'll uncheck this here, and we'll change the name to reflect this view being last fiscal year. Now in the drop-down menu, I can see both my custom views. The eye icon shows that these views are public. I can click the manage icon and edit the name, delete the custom view, or make this view unavailable or available publicly. A custom view is always displayed with the latest saved changes. The custom view does not change the original, but it is related to it. If the original view is updated or republished, the custom view is also updated. If the original view is deleted from the server, the custom view is also deleted. I hope that helps you understand how you can customize views within any of your workbooks to create a custom view showing you data relevant to you. 
I'm Jason. Thanks for watching our Concourse Tableau Server Tips.